Hello, my name is Eric Gregori, and this is a, a training video for uh, the EMG Robotics Robot Vision Toolkit. Um, and in this video, we're going to cover um, um, making the the robot walk using an accelerometer. So you can download the uh, Robot Vision Toolkit at www.emgrobotics.com. When you download it and install it. You'll get a folder similar to this. It's going to be um, either your C or D drive, EMG Robotics, then Robot Vision Toolkit. Then go into the bin directory, B-I-N. So we're at C, in my case, for my installation, C, EMG Robotics, Robot Vision Toolkit, bin, and then click on the IDE. So IDE.exe. Okay, and let me shrink this down here. Okay, so this is the IDE. I'm going to get the whole thing in the window here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go File, Open, and we're going to go, let's, so we're in Robot Vision Toolkit. We're going to go into Examples, uh, Kevin Jr., that's the name of the robot, and then we're going to go to Excel Graphic 3 Walking.C. Okay, so this is, this, this demo is going to, um, cover a couple of things. It's going to cover the accelerometer. It's going to cover the robot, uh, the, the robot that you can see actually here. Okay. And then it's also going to cover the graphics, uh, the 2D graphics module in the in Robot Vision Toolkit. So uh, what I want to do now, a description of all the, the code is up here. It's pretty heavily commented. Uh, what I want to do is highlight one section of code because you may have to change this section based on your robot. So <clears throat> these are the walking parameters. And what I've done is I've put all the constants for your robot. I put them up on the top. So um, they're right here. So this is, uh, you know, the, the description's right there. This is where you would change them. Now, the idea behind this code is it's self-calibrating. So you shouldn't have to change these values. But in case your robot's so far off and you have to, here's where they are. And there's a description next to it. Um, uh, chances are, what I would do is I would try changing just the center values first um, and go from there and, and let the auto calibration try to do its thing. Uh, in this case, it's also going to go ahead and run. Um, it's going to open up a window that you're going to see in a minute and um, uh, show you some data. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and run the auto calibration. So I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to do this. Oh, here. Actually, let me go ahead and run. Let me go ahead and power on the robot. So, there you go. Yeah, he's in a, <laughs> he's where he was this morning. And we're going to go ahead and click on run. Run. And I'm going to grab the robot because he's going to jump. There he is. Okay, now what it's doing now is it's calibrating. So you can see it's it's being described down here. Hopefully you can see that. So down here it says calibrating. Um, so what, what you want to do is you want to just put the robot, let him sit steady, and he's going to calibrate. And what he's doing there is he's just calibrating out any errors from a, a stand-up position. And then when it's going to say calibration complete, and then he's going to lean to the left and then lean to the right. And what he's doing there is he's calibrating his um, accelerometer uh, to determine uh, how much he should lean when he's walking. So uh, this takes a little bit of time, and, and you can hope you can see it in the video. And then what I want to talk about here is, so this is using the, um, the th uh, 2D graphics module in Robot C. So this graphic here was actually programmed in Robot C. And what you see is the red lines are the X and Y axes for the robot, for the accelerometer. And the green and the blue lines are the maximum. So blue is minimum, I'm sorry, and green is maximum. So as he's walking, you can see that as he leans forward or leans left, you can see the direction the line's going. And you can actually watch the activity of the X and Y 
uh, axes of the accelerometer. Now, the, line, the red lines are actually showing the tangent of the x combined with the z and the y combined with the z. Uh, so you get a little bit, you get a more uh, linear, um, a more linear result than if you're just using one channel, x or y. And as you can see, the calibration works quite well. I mean, uh, this robot actually, the, the centers and the, the, the initial servo parameters weren't even for this robot. They were for a completely different robot, and the robot uh, calibrated itself out, and it works. So go ahead and try this out, uh, and um, hopefully it, it works for you.